this is an example of how to jam up your predator wood chipper. And that's what this week's video is about. So let's get to it. Okay, once your system gets clogged or jammed, you're going to be tempted to uh, f try to force everything through that uh, hopper. But uh, trust me, this doesn't work. Um, and I'm hoping that I can help you alleviate uh, this futile attempt of unclogging your Predator. So let's uh, get to how you really unclog this. I thought I would run everything through a second time to see if it would uh, mulch and everything is a half inch or less after going through at least once. So I thought I could just dump it here in the hopper but uh, as you could see you can only do about one handful at a time and even then if you go too fast it'll get clogged up and then it won't, nothing else will pass through. So. I guess uh, let me let me see how well I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna unclog this and I'm gonna get everything through for a second time and uh, take a look at it. All right, so your chipper has jammed and uh, it stopped running and you can't get it started. So there's a couple of places uh, that you can check uh, to remove uh, whatever debris is uh, causing the jam. First place would be here in the hopper. So but before you uh, check anything, you want to make sure that this switch is in the off position and that your uh, fuel is turned off. You can see here that off is all the way to the left, on is to the right. So just make sure that's in the off position. And the manual also recommends that you disconnect the spark plug. You do that right here. Just pull on this and disconnect the spark plug. So that way you know that uh, the engine's not gonna start on you while you've got your hand in a compromising position. So the first thing you wanna do is come in here and you can see here, I've, I'm just simulating a jam here, but you wanna clear this out and you'll pull out whatever is jamming up this inlet right here. Next place you want to check is here where uh, the outlet into your bag. So you lift this up and you can see up in here, you can clear this out. And then another location is right here. If you've been using this, it's possible that you've got a jam up in there. You reach your hand in there and you can feel around, find uh, anything that could be jamming it up and pull that out. Now, one thing that uh, you can do is let's say that you've got something jammed up here, but it's way back in the back. You can't reach it. You can actually take your cord here and just pull it slowly, and you can see that it rotates that wheel. Let's see if you can see that. And this is why you want to have your spark plug disconnected, uh, because it could accidentally start on you while you're pulling this. But if you just pull on it really slow, you can advance this to the point where you could, you know, reach in here and you could clean this out. And then once you've got uh, all of your debris cleared, you can uh, turn your switch back to the on position, open up your fuel line, reconnect your spark plug, 
and uh, try to start it up. And if it still won't start, you've still got a jam in there that you can't uh, seem to clean out. You've got this panel here on the back and you can uh, just remove these uh, bolts and you can spin this plate and that'll give you access to the inside gearbox and you should be able to clean it out there. It's right here on the back panel and this is uh, 10 millimeters. Just leave that one on so let me get this cleaned out and we'll get this thing going again but that's uh, really all there is to uh, cleaning out uh, any areas that might be jammed uh, just again can't say it enough make sure you've got it turned off fuel is cut spark plug is disconnected so let's talk a little bit about what you can actually run through here so this top hopper is mainly for leaves and for small brush, um, about a half inch or less. And then this inlet here is for branches that are up to three inches in diameter. Um, keep in mind though, I've, I haven't tried this, but I've watched a few other videos and they say that uh, if you're gonna go three inches, it needs to be dry uh dry wood but anything below that two and a half two or or less it can be green but a three inch green board will uh, jam that up um, again i haven't tried this so i can't verify that but uh seems reasonable in order to prevent clogging or jamming this is how you want to run things through this top hopper Seems like you're going really slow, but uh, be patient because uh, this is a lot faster than having to unjam your system. If you get anything out of these videos, uh, it really helps a lot if you give it a thumbs up and uh, click on the subscribe. Uh, but that's going to do it for this week, so I will talk to you guys later.